Hello, good afternoon. My name is Bimbo and welcome to our channel once again. Now, are you in the uh, medical space? Are you a nurse? Are you looking for a carer jobs that um, will give you an opportunity to be able to travel out of the country uh, that you are currently staying in? Or you have a family and uh, you are looking, you have an experience in the nursing space uh, as a technical uh, uh, technical assistant nurse. Uh, you have an experience as a carer caring for aged people, those who are disabled, among other caring uh, opportunity that you have exposed yourself in, I mean, exposed yourself to over the years. Now, there is an opportunity for you to be able to relocate to USA on a caring job opportunity, a sponsorship job opportunity to USA, or as a nurse, a technical assistant nurse to USA. Now, uh, if you have a family, the beauty of it is that uh, this company, the sponsor that will be responsible for your uh, visa application process, your, I mean, your flight um, uh, flight um, sponsorship, I mean, the, 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 the cover flight sponsorship, which means they'll be able to provide you, they, they are the one that will be responsible for booking your flight. And if you have your family, the EB3 visa sponsorship to the USA, especially for those in the care, in the care, um, um, in the care professions or nursing professions, the EB3 visa to USA also cover this opportunity for those who are interested in relocating to USA as a carer. Now, if you've observed on this channel, I hardly discuss our, I mean, uh, discuss opportunities to USA, to Canada, to UK. The reason is because I believe in my own personal opinion that that country or those countries are, are, are overrated with respect to the opportunities that are there. But nevertheless, when I see a genuine opportunity that I believe that uh, my people, my subscribers and my viewers will be able to benefit from, I try as much as possible to do extensive research about them before bringing them your way, which is why I try to um, you know, submit a client applications to one of these companies first and uh, looking at the current stage of that client application, which has already moved to the next stage and they are currently speaking on scheduling an interview stage for uh, the applicant or for my client. So that brings me, I mean, that gives me an, an hedge or a, an onus to be able to bring the opportunity to everyone desiring to relocate as a care assistant or as a nurse to the USA. So, Today, I'll be sharing the details about the, um, um, the company, the website with you. There are about two of them in the USA. They are strictly designed or particularly designed to, I mean, to, to recruit immigrants from all over the world to the USA. Those that are particularly interested in caring assistant jobs and nursing related jobs to the USA. So they have, they, they work with numerous uh, companies in the USA. So, but their major target is recruiting international carers, international immigrant or uh, international um, 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 applicants that are interested in relocating to the USA on a carer job visa or a nursing visa, which in the USA and the you know visa application procedure, the visa process is called the EB3 visa application procedure. They are the one that will be responsible for all your visa application. They, they sponsor people to the USA, international applicants to the USA to be able to get job. And of course, when you submit your application to them, I will be showing to you the details of how you can submit your applications to these agencies. And then when you submit your application process to them, uh, I mean, you, when you submit your application to them, when they see that your CV uh, match the current role that you are currently recruiting for, they will schedule an interview an, an interview process with you. And of course, I will imagine that you will also do your due diligence, 
get your documents in place and be able to do extensive research about these companies and the role that you are applying for so that you'll be able to, you know, uh, I mean, you never know where your uh, where your opportunity lies when it comes to some of these opportunities that we discuss day in, day out. So I will be sharing the details of the company with you shortly so that you can know how to process your application directly to them. Now, this is, uh, let me start with uh, this company. Uh, it is called Car Carriers for America. Yes, Carrier for America. You see, uh, to become a carrier in the United States of America, the best route is for an employer to sponsor you for the EB3 visa. This is a permanent US visa that allows you to live and work permanently in the United States of America. So according to them, there is no particular experience that is required. They just require that you have an interest and uh, some, um, I mean, some, uh, if possible, some certifications and documentation to show that uh, uh, you are interested uh, uh, in this uh, position. So the purpose of the specific, the specific visa category is to bring in immigrants to fulfill a shortage of workers in the USA and our employers need carers. The only requirement and condition for the EB3 worker visa is that you are capable or of physically working a regular permanent job in America. That is the only requirement, okay, that they ask you to be able to just be physically fit. That is the general meaning of that, be physically fit to be able to take up a carrier position on a permanent position in America. Okay, this is a non-immigrant visa where your spouse and any children under the age of 21 years old will receive a U.S. green card to immigrate to America as part of the same application packet. Okay, so which means your family, as long as any of your children are within the age of 21, everybody is within the same age bracket. So which means if you, if you as a man or a wife is given the uh, job opportunity, every member of your immediate household, your children, your wife, your husband, are under the same sponsorship visa called EB3 visa. Now, this particular company, this is how you apply to them, okay? First of all, they require that you submit your name, the, the full names, your email address where they will be communicating with you, your phone number, you submit it to them. And of course, you send them a message letting them know uh, which job you are interested in, the carer position, and if you have any particular uh, experience in it. If you have experience, it will, it will really give you an edge. But they said that you don't really need to have an experience, but you know, uh, just be physically fit to be able to apply for this job. So when you send details of this message to them, so they will now be open a communication uh, path with you such that they will be requesting for more documentation, probably ask for your international passport, your CV, or now, of course, at some point, schedule an interview uh, uh, process uh, with you such that they'll be able to get to know you, your interests, your availability, among other documents that they might ask you to submit. Now, this is where it becomes interesting. Let me show you the other websites that I believe that uh, you will, um, I mean, it's, it's also very, very interesting because their own application process is very detailed. Now, this is MedPro International. MedPro International, they recruit international nurses, I mean, international applicant from all over the world to America. Nurses, certified nursing assistant or medical technologies, those biochemists, um, you went, if you went to school to study biochemists, all those lab-related job role, you know, that is what they recruit in I mean, that's what they recruit into America. Now, so that is uh, that is that about uh, their own med pro. Now let's assume that uh, you are interested in maybe uh, a uh, um, a medical. You are a medical technologist, or you want to apply as a nurse. Okay. Now you come to their own um, apply today. Just click on apply today. When you click on apply today, it will take you to this stage where you will now be able to choose what you want to apply for. Are you applying as a nurse? Are you applying for medical technologies, those in the lab? Or are you applying as a certified nursing assistant? There's something called registered nurses and there's something called certified nursing assistant. Each of them have different application process, but 
you know, because of time, I won't be able to go through details about them. So at your own spare time, you can deal uh, extensively with them. But let me just quickly go for registered nurse. Okay, you want to apply for the position of a registered nurse. Of course, in here you put it require your uh, names, you know, and every other information that you need to put. You put your name, preferred most of contact, okay? Uh, if you prefer them to be contacting you via email or via WhatsApp, you can, you know, put it in there. And then uh, once you put your email in here, you put your phone number, do you have a WhatsApp number, okay? If you want them to be communicating with you on WhatsApp, whether, I, whether it is preferred or not, if you have a WhatsApp number, you can also put it in here. You can select yes and then put the details, the number. Don't forget to put the country code. Anytime you want to put your non WhatsApp number to an international person, you have to put your country code so that they'll be able to reach you on your WhatsApp. Put your WhatsApp number, then the country that you are currently living in, you put it there. Country where you are born, you put it there. The current currently working in your professional area. So which means if you are going for a nurse, are you currently working as a nurse? Okay, like I said, it will really give you an edge if you work as a nurse or if you have experience in any area of the medical line or nursing line or care line that you want to apply for. So specialty, okay, in nursing department or in nursing area, they have many areas in which you can apply to work. For instance, uh, nursing, case manager, bone marrow transplant, and plant lab so they have a bunch of them okay so depending on which area of nursing uh, field do you have experience in that is what we determine what you will choose here okay uh, ICU intensive care those in with it uh, that are inside where the uh, operating room I guess, I guess that is what it, I'm not in the medical field but I think ICU intensive care will be nurse that are staying with the doctors when they are operating on people so Depending on the area of the nursing experience that you have, that is what we determine where you would, what you will choose here. Don't forget, this is the um this is the website that I told you, you know, uh, I applied for a client and currently now they are scheduling an interview uh, uh date with her. I mean, they schedule an interview date with her and uh, so this particular um website is more detailed in terms of how they recruit into America international applicant into. America. So you can choose what area of uh, nursing you have interest in. Then NCLEX. Okay. So this is said, I don't know what this means. So uh, I, I would imagine that if you are in the, in the if you are in that department or if you are in that space, you will either know what this means, NCLEX, or you can Google it to know what NCLEX means before you choose no or yes, because it's very important to know what you are agreeing to or what you are you know declining. Yeah, too, so that it doesn't hamper your application. Then if you have a university application, sorry, a university degree, you have to put a year of university graduation. So which means, I mean, it also give you, it seems that they require that uh, you have uh, a university degree for you to be able to apply. So university graduation, you put your university graduation uh, year, you know, the, the, this is an open space, so which means you can put BSE in microbiology and the year of graduation, you put it there, that is what will really have the year of experience. So in any course, any nursing course that you choose above, you have to put in there that, uh, uh, okay, I have two years in that space, I have three years, I have five years, whatever number of years experience that you have, you have to put it there. How did you hear about them? You can just you know choose one of them here. Now, resume is very important. Design your resume for any job application that you are submitting overseas. Design your resume in an EU format, okay, in an EU format. And I think there is a format that is acceptable for the USA market as well. So you can also Google that online, how to design your resume for applying to jobs in the USA. You can look for that online as well. Then unofficial transcript, that means your BSc degree transcript, this is where you will upload them. Okay, that is why I said Medpro International is a very, very detailed uh, um, 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 website to apply for job as a nurse, as a uh, uh, medical technologist, as a lab scientist, whatever position that you hold or that you are looking for to, you know, to be able to relocate out of the current country that you are in. Medpro International is a very good website that you can use to you know, apply for jobs. So when they review your CV, and I, I guess within one or two weeks, they, you can expect that they will get back to you, okay? And then another thing is this, you can also, you can also open 
um, um, I mean, register with them so that you'll be able to monitor your application to see what stage it is currently in. So, and like I said, you have to also do extensively your own background research about these websites. I found them, I mean, while I was researching into nursing and care opportunity in the USA, I found them and I, I, you know, I did extensive research about them. And I, first of all, you know, send a client application to them to even see how they operate. And within two weeks or thereabout, they contacted her and uh, currently scheduling an interview date with her. But that is that about these people. So you just have to also do your own extensive research about them to see what um, uh, what uh, job opportunities are there for you. And like I've shown to you how you can apply, the, the, regardless of the, uh, if you want to apply for nursing or register certified nursing or medical technology, those that work in the lab, you can also apply to them. So. That is the work opportunity that I wanted to discuss with you guys again today. If you are just seeing our channel for the first time, this is Dakwa with your days. On this channel, we discuss opportunity to photograph with the side to Europe and other, I mean, and other beautiful European countries where we believe that uh, you are going to have a beautiful location experience. Like and subscribe to this channel so that by the time we drop opportunities and information like this, you will be the first person to get notification. Thank you very much for watching once again. Bye-bye for now.